five people are now in custody, accused of breaking into nearly two dozen cars in a local neighborhood. We first showed you surveillance video of some of the break-ins Wednesday. Investigators say the teen snatched items from cars in Argyle and got away in a stolen car. Action News Jax, Anna Neshi learned that they were caught after a chase in a stolen car that may have been used in the crimes. Deputies spotted the stolen Volvo that the five were traveling in. They chased them to this area of Millstone Drive where they crashed. Neighbor Brian Poole says he was watching the Democratic National Convention Thursday night when something caught his eye outside of his home on Millstone Drive. Saw these blue lights flashing through my windows upstairs. Little did Poole know deputies were after five burglary suspects who they say broke into more than 20 cars in the past week. We showed you this surveillance video earlier in the week showing the suspects trying to break into a car. Most of the burglaries took place off Lynchfield Drive, where one victim, who wanted to keep her identity a secret, says her tablet was stolen. My husband and I were going to go out, um, and he found out everything was thrown into, and so it just checking to see what was missing, and my tablet was missing. Deputies say they spotted the burglars near Plantation Oaks Boulevard and Oakleaf Village Parkway after they just committed yet another burglary. Deputies say the suspects took off and then crashed a stolen Volvo right next to Poole's house and tried to run off. They uh, whipped out the dogs. They were up and down the street. I mean, cars were everywhere. Four juveniles and an 18-year-old were eventually taken into custody. Neighbor George Mercado tells me it's a lesson learned since most people leave their cars open because they feel safe. My daughter has left the keys open uh, with the car with the keys, and we don't have problems, in this, at least up to now. We're told the Volvo that they crashed was stolen out of Jacksonville. Reporting in Clay County, Deanna Betaneshi, CBS 47, Action News Jax.